Hello, welcome back. This is chapter 8, part 3. In this part, we'll learn about calculating total fixed cost, total variable cost, and total cost. Total fixed cost, this is the first one. Total amount paid for the fixed inputs of production does not vary with output. Okay, total variable cost, total amount paid for variable inputs, and total cost is going to be the sum of these two. Total variable cost increases as output increases, and total cost is the sum of total fixed cost and total variable cost. Increases with increases in the output. Okay, this is a typo. Increases with the increases in output. So we're going to erase this part. All right. So total cost is TFC, total fixed cost and total variable cost. Here is a short run cost table. We're going to be working off of these numbers. So first column shows number of labors hired. You have zero people working for you. You produce zero levels of output. Okay. You hire four people. You actually produce 100 units. You hire six people, 200 units, so on and so forth. Okay. Wage rate is $1,000 per worker and the total cost of the fixed inputs is going to be R times K, $6,000. So I am hiring, let's say, three units of capital, right? Each is $2,000, could be an example, okay? So I'm paying $2,000 each, I'm hiring three or some other combination, okay? So total fixed cost is easy because we're going to look at the cost of fixed input so that's going to be six thousand not only here right six thousand dollars not only here on the first column but it's going to be six thousand all the way down okay why because by definition it's all the way down we all is the same numbers let's put dash dash means same number same number six thousand dollars all the way down What's the total variable cost? I'm not going to do everything, but I'm going to show you. If I hire zero people, zero. And then total cost is just going to be sum of total fixed, total variable cost, 6000 plus zero dollars, 6000 dollars. Next. Okay, I'm hiring four people. Each pe person, each people, each person needs to be paid $1,000. So total variable cost is going to be four times 1000 4000 okay and similarly it goes down you can calculate the whole thing okay and the sum 6 plus 4 ten thousand dollars here you can calculate the whole thing so pause this video right now and finish calculating these columns do not touch this part ignore this part by now for now and please focus on these two columns pause it and i'll see you in a second Okay, you are potentially back. You have calculated these columns. And if you do that, you're actually going to get these numbers. Total variable cost goes up with the cost of uh, the production. As output goes up, your total variable cost goes up, right? Because these output levels are associated with different levels of labor. And then total uh, fixed cost is constant. And then add just these two columns, column two and three, to get the total cost. Okay, so if we draw this, it's going to look like this total cost starts from 6,000, goes up. Total variable cost starts from zero, goes up, parallel to the total cost. And total fixed cost, by definition, is straight, okay? Before we go to part four, actually, I am going to go to my... Excel again, we're going to learn about how to calculate this in Excel. I am basically manually entering this. So then choose this column because it's the same number. Go to the corner, double click. Oops, it went too far. <laughs> so I'm just going to drag because it also went all the way there. Total variable cost will be the cost of labor times number of workers hired. So I'm going to, let's see if it works. Ugh, I don't know why it keeps going down. All right. Total cost is very simple. We add total fixed cost with total variable cost. Drag from here. Boom. That's it. So if you want to draw all these, right, I'm going to draw everything. I'm going to choose this. Again, insert 
charts i'm gonna choose scatter with this one right if you look at this one total fixed cost blue one total variable cost orange and total cost is the gray uh curve graph i'll see you in part four